I'm playing Virtual View Megumi. Sometime last week I was in a stone stupor when I went down an eBay rabbit hole looking for weird stuff to buy that I could review on the channel, and about 20 minutes in I came across a bunch of these Megumi games for the PS2. Naturally, as a guy who grew up in North America, seeing a game like this for the PS2 instantly caught my attention, and not because of her massive tits on the cover. Listen, I worked at an adult DVD store for multiple years, this stuff doesn't do much for me, I consider this vanilla. And despite the original intent of this kind of content, Content for a video game, I'm not going to objectify Megumi because the girl's on the hustle, she's making money, she's doing what she loves, and she's way better off than I am, plus she lives in Japan, which that equally makes her life a million times better than mine. So I ended up buying the game, obviously, it got shipped to my house a week later, and here I am talking about it to you guys. During the early 2000s, a series of PS2 games were released in Japan that featured one of Japan's biggest idols at the time, Yamano Megumi. Born September 25th, 1981 in Kurashiki City, Okayama, Japan. Megumi still to this day has a very respectable modeling and acting career in Japanese drama TV shows and movies, with her most recent credit being in 2020 for a horror movie called Stigmatized Properties. From what I've gathered is based on an indie Japanese horror video game. Honestly, I wasn't expecting much. From looking at the back of the box, it seems to be more like an interactive DVD, and upon further research, that's exactly what it is. Published by a company called Pony. Canyon, which might I add is one of the weirdest sounding names for a publisher I've ever heard. It sounds like the name of some weird, creepy, brony sex convention. <laughs> <laughs> the virtual view games are more along the lines of you playing the role as the photographer. In these games, the girls are displayed for you via 360 degree video. You can manipulate the camera all around Megumi as she moves. You can take pictures of her and record her at whatever angle you desire. You can also pause, fast forward, rewind, speed up, or even slow down the footage at whatever point you want. And I'm sure for a lot of people in Japan who bought this game, that came in handy a lot. This was all achieved by using multiple different cameras to film Megumi, in a technique that is very similar to the Matrix bullet time used in the Wachowski movies. But of course, the camera motion is completely controlled by you. And it's funny because the camera setup that was used looks like it's something straight out of the Matrix. Something else that's worth mentioning is that there's actually no background music in this game. It's an attempt to make the game more realistic to mimic a actual photo shoot. The only sounds that you'll hear is from the production staff and the girl herself, Megumi. Okay. There's really not much more to say about the gameplay for this game. Its intent is clear in what it's trying to achieve as far as a video game. I, I get the whole play as the photographer aspect, but really it's just a fancy way for Japanese men to jerk off. And that's pretty much it for Virtual View Megumi. These games are all exactly the same, just with different girls. Uh, you know, these don't come off uh, creepy when you're playing them. You can tell that she's having a good time. Uh, you know, it's a modeling photo shoot or whatever. It's not meant to be perverted, even though it probably comes off that way. It's um, just a weird photographer simulation type game. Uh, and you can also uh, jerk off to it if you want. Let me know what you guys thought about this game and uh, do you want me to review more of them? They're actually really expensive. This was the cheapest one, it was like 50 bucks. The other games in the series are like $100 plus. So if you really wanna see me do more of them, I could probably get my hands on some. Let me know down in the comments section what you think. And that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button so you never miss an upload because I make content like this at least once a week so there's always something to watch. Go check me out on social media. Links are down below in the video description and I will see you guys next time in the nerd lair. Stay risque. Ah, I やっぱ、やる。わかりました。それじゃあ、1 2 3 Megumi!